Hi everyone, my name is Frank Westfall and in this video I will show you how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB flash thumb drive that you can use to install Windows 11 on your computer. For this video you will need a USB 2.0 or 3.0 flash drive like this with at least 8 gigabytes of storage on it. All of the data on your drive will be overwritten when the Windows installation files are written onto it. So your USB drive should be dedicated for this purpose only. If you have important data on your drive, copy it somewhere safe before you do this. Let's create it now. So because Windows 11 hasn't been officially released yet, we are going to get a copy of the Windows 11 ISO file from what is called the Windows Flighting Program. In order to do this, we'll have to sign in to our Microsoft account and download the ISO. But once Windows 11 has been released to the general public, you won't have to sign in, most likely, to get a copy of the ISO. You'll be able to download it in the same way that you can do Windows 10 right now, and then also use their media creation tool to create the bootable media instead of the application Rufus that we're going to use in this example. So to get the pre-release version of Windows 11, we have to use the Windows Insider program. And once it's released to the general public, you won't have to do this. You can just download it without a Microsoft account and without signing in. So we want to open a browser. Now we want to go to insider.windows.com. And we want to sign in. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create a free one. Now we're going to scroll down to Flight Now, where we can download a Windows Insider Preview ISO. At the bottom we select the Edition, and we want to select the option Windows 11 Insider Preview Beta Channel. Confirm, select the language. Confirm. And this is the ISO file download that we want. It's a large file, so it's going to take a while to download. While that's downloading, we can go and get a copy of the Rufus application tool, which we will use to take that ISO file and write the data inside the ISO file onto a USB drive, which is then bootable. So we can use that USB drive to install Windows 11. The website for this is rufus.ie. I like the portable version. So now we're just going to let this ISO download for a while. Okay, now that we've downloaded our Windows 11 ISO file, we're going to use that file to create a bootable USB flash drive. We can close this, go to downloads where we downloaded the Rufus application, run that. We don't need to check for updates. At this point, we want to insert the USB flash drive that we're going to create the bootable media onto. That was the green thumb drive I showed. I already named this one Windows 11 bootable USB. This is what we're going to write to. And then we're going to select the ISO that we want to use, which is the one we just downloaded. So downloads. If we pull this out, we can see this is an ISO file. Select that one. And for Windows 11, you have to use the GPT partition scheme and UEFI. 
I'm going to label this Windows 11 bootable. We hit start. All of the data on the USB thumb drive will be destroyed. That's okay. And now Rufus is creating the bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it from the Windows 11 ISO file. While this bootable media is being created, please take the time to hit the like button, which is the thumbs up button, leave comments or questions, and subscribe for more how-to videos on Windows 11 coming soon. Okay, that's finishing up. Now that this is complete, we're going to eject this. We can close this. We can eject the USB disk. That's the volume label that I put on it. And remove it from the computer. We have created a bootable USB with Windows 11 on it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Bye.